Hey, what's up? How's it going? Hey, th thanks again for tuning into the channel. Um, I know I've been posting a lot of uh, reviews about technology, photography, things like that. Um, but I also like to just post a lot of random, uh, random things too, and, and just a lot of different tips um, and a lot of reviews and things of that sort. So thank you all for tuning in. And today, what I'm going to be doing is putting a detail on the car. Um, this is the the first. Uh, this is the uh, first time it's really been warm in Ohio since the winter. It actually snowed uh, last <laughs> last week, so it's about 70 degrees or so out here, which is amazing. Um, so, what I'm going to be doing, there's, I think there's a beehive above me or something, so if, if you see me kind of dodging out the way, that's why. But what we're going to be talking about today is using a clay bar. Clay bar in your car, alright? That's what we're going to be talking about today. Um, so I'm just going to give some quick tips and things like that on clay in the car. Alright, so the first thing that you want to do is put a good wash on the car. Uh, you definitely don't want to um, have any particles on the car or anything like that. Um, that when you're claying, you're actually going to be rubbing into the paint. Um, I have a black car, of course, so that's really important um, to, uh, to make sure that this surface is clean because if you get any type of swirl marks or anything in the car, it's definitely going to show up um, in a car that is black. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is give it a wash. Um, then I'm going to give uh, like some more close-up tips and things like that uh, when it comes to claying. All right. So the first thing you want to do is wash your car. Okay. So let's get to washing. So we got the car washed and we are ready to start claying. Um, it's really important to make sure that uh, the car is completely clean um, and free of any type of debris or anything like that um, because when you start to clay you don't want to rub anything into your paint job or anything like that um, once you start claying. So you want to make sure that this surface is as clean as possible. All right, you want to take your clay. Now I'm using Meguiar's uh, clay. And uh, what I like to do is just make, make a little disc, uh, kind of like this. So you make a little disc, almost sort of like a pad. And then what you'll want to do is you want to make sure that the surface does not get dry. So the surface will always uh, stay wet. Um, that's how you end up getting swirl marks and things like that into the paint. Um, if, you, if you do this uh, claim procedure, on any area of the car that is not um, any area of the car that that does not uh, already have moisture in between it, um, that's when you'll start to see your swirl marks and things like that. Um, another big no-no is moving this clay bar in circles like this. Um, what you want to do is move in up and down motions, just like that. And you want to move in up and down motions. You want to make sure that that this stays as wet as possible. One thing that I like to do personally is I like to take a spray bottle uh, that you've seen on the car, All right? And I like to have that spray bottle and just have the spray bottle already with me. Uh, sometimes I'll have a rag around if I just need a little extra. What you want to do is just move in up and down motions all over the car. Continue to spray it. Make sure that your clay and your surface stay as moist as possible. You just want to move up and down over the surface. Okay, just like that. You see that it's starting to come toward a spot. It doesn't have a lot of lubrication on there. You make sure that that lubrication is there. And you just want to move your clay up and down in this motion. All right. Up and down in this motion. You can use the entire palm of your hand. Um, sometimes I do it that way. 
or sometimes I'll just use like the tip of my fingers. Periodically, you do want to look at the clay and just make sure that nothing got stuck to the surface. Uh, make sure that it's free from any type of debris because otherwise you're going to be rubbing that debris into your paint job and that's not good. All right. Every now and again, you want to take your clay and you want to just knead it. Knead it again into a ball. I'm sorry, into a disc. All right. You just want to take it and just work it back out and knead it again so that you are working with a so that you're working with a clean with a clean piece of clay all right so we'll just keep doing this motion here up and down as you can see all the way down and this is going to give you that mirror that mirror finish What I like to do personally when I'm claying is I, I um, have my spray bottle, but inside this spray bottle is a little bit of, uh, of the uh, soap. Um, and the particular soap that I use is Rain-X's High Foaming Wash and Wax. That's what I use there. So I use that along with the clay to... Uh, to make sure that everything is getting in there real nice. All right. So what we'll do is we'll pull the camera back and uh, we'll just show the claying process as a whole. And uh, hopefully you can see exactly uh, what I'm doing here and hopefully it helps you out. So always remember, do not clay on any dry surfaces and areas. You wanna make sure that this uh, is as smooth as possible. And even as I'm touching that right now, I mean, it's just smooth as butter as I'm, as I'm running my hand over it. And as I look at the clay, there's little pieces of uh, things in there. So I know that it's picking things up off of the surface. So go ahead and uh, pull the camera back. And um, yeah, we'll just uh, have a little uh, video of me uh, actually claying and you can see how that whole process works, all right? or anything like that. All right, you just want to move it back and forth. Always uh, keep a bucket around. Some water. There's another thing you can do. You can take your rag and just put it up there and let the water run right down onto the surface in conjunction with your spray bottle that has your soap in it. I'm gonna do a quick walk around on the car so you can see it's all done. Extremely smooth, shiny, got that glass, glass finish on there. You can see that in that side right there. Let's check out that glass finish right there. Smooth as a button, not one imperfection on there at all. No more road grime, no nothing. I mean, it's just smooth to the touch. Extremely, extremely good job. Looks amazing. 
It's looking brand new, like it just rolled off the showroom floor. Mine is about 100,000 miles. 